Jan, game finished so quickly. What a surprise. Uh, are there some objective ways to have some fight in this line? Well, this line is, first of all, like very solid for white. And uh, yeah, in fact, I think uh, Ding had the game against Moxie Sun here, and he played, I believe, bishop b4 instead of h5, which was slight inaccuracy. Uh, so, well, perhaps after bishop b4, I would, you know, insist to play on for a while, but yeah, h5 is a precise move, and then it's. I mean, anyway, it's most likely a draw, but yeah. How surprised uh, were you? Uh yesterday after uh, Richard refused. You already mentioned that in the studio, but still maybe a couple of comments. I can't say I was uh, something like really surprised because it was clear he was uh, out of his prep and uh, I think he also later stated that. So he had some other lines uh, written down. And also I think that uh, humanly it's not so obvious. Yeah, yeah, this position is like so, so poor for white. Yeah, so like, black has an upper hand. It's two, two rooks against the queen and uh, I mean, also a pawn and also this knight on e6. So once again, I think it's, uh, it was, you know, humanly understandable and also he just spent one hour. I mean, okay, it was very, you know, not so practical decision from him, but uh, I'm not the one, you know, who should, you know, who should blame him for this, yeah, indeed. What are your thoughts about tomorrow's game versus Fabi? You know, another game, like a very, very strong opponent. Fabi's doing great here and playing, showing some great chess, so. I'm, I'm really looking forward. Speaking of great chess, uh, how do you evaluate in general the quality overall in, of the games here in these candidates, let's say, compared to other candidates? I don't know. It's hard to say because, well, a few years ago when I was like uh, doing some commentary for the candidates, uh, I mean, it's really easy to spot a lot of inaccuracies, a lot of mistakes and blunders uh, while you make this commentary. Yeah, like, okay, you basically sit there with the engine. And you see everything was going on, yes, and you're like often criticizing uh, basically nothing about reason. Uh, but then, okay, uh, like, when, like, in a couple of weeks you go to the tournament, you play yourself, and you play, you know, uh, also not that brilliantly, yes. So, in general, uh, I mean, there is always some special tension in the candidates, and uh, people, they like, probably, uh, you know, the price. Uh, uh, you know, the cost of the move is uh, sometimes uh, too high and, uh, you know, sometimes mentally you just uh, pick some, some another move other what you would play in, I would say, you know, normal tournament, yes, yeah? so maybe this also affects in some way, but yeah, I believe that uh, especially in some first rounds, yeah, there were like some very chaotic games with, yeah, a lot, lots of uh, uh, ups and downs. Perhaps one last question. Uh, Hikaru yesterday in the studio mentioned that this time control is, uh, uh, might be affecting some players, uh, that there is no increment. Uh, how is it for you to play without 30 seconds per move? Uh, yeah, I had quite some practice uh, in Dubai <laughs> uh, with this time control, but frankly speaking, in Dubai it was, I mean, uh, I can't say it was like really unfortunate, but in general, uh, I mean, I believe the last tournament I played with, the, with a similar time control without any increment until like move 61. I would say it was like 2011 or 2012, so I didn't really feel like I'm used to this. And uh, basically, yeah, like there are like a few similar tournaments, like for example, in Norway, they have these two hours for 40 moves and then just um, some small increments. So it's uh, basically you finish your classical game and you start, you know, Second, re you know, rapid game just inside uh, inside this one game or rapid or blitz, but yeah, okay. Then the time trouble comes. It's very, you know, uh, very new feeling because yeah, you always can let's say use all your time, and then you still have like 30 seconds to figure out what to do next. And here the time management comes to you know to to a next level, which is, I mean, it's just more or less the same because basically the time remains the same. Yeah, the time limit two hours, but I believe yeah, people just not used to it. Thanks a lot, Jan. Thank you.